my words with the Bar Torah from the Mashkiach. Rabbi Solomon saw me come into the first body of the Shiva. Um, I know this is not what we prepared to say. It was Parsha by Yetzir, and Yaakov Avinu had just decided to leave Lavan. And it said, in the Parsha, Lavan was told that Yaakov Avinu took his Echav and he fled. And Rashi tells us that Echav are Karub, his friends, those that are close to him. Later in the same Parsha, when Lavan finds Yaakov Avinu with his Echav, Rashi says they are Bonham. The same word, but this time he says Bonham. Finally, Yaakov Avinu makes a pack of Lavan and his Echav, and these are Mamish, his enemies. They came to kill him. Mashiach said, people who come to help you, to support you in your times of need, whether they be your friends, your family, or your adversaries, they all become your brothers. And I tell you, you are indeed my brothers. Are I Cohen, this must make you my aunt. I could have not gotten through to this point with that girl, both for me and my family. And Rabbi Grisman, the only thing I can say is to make you my day. I cannot express my car to you for over the past 20 years. You've been with me through everything. And I have not forgotten that tonight is the Monday night cheer. It was very sheer that brought me to the road of Torah Sands. And for you to give up that sheer tonight, even more so do I express my thanks. I have never been one to ask for a brother. And I will tell you that less than 24 hours before all this began for my daughter, she did receive a brother from an other mother. However, here I am qualified to offer you my brother. With the deep pain that I feel in my heart, my brocha is that each and every person, both here and here at Sisroa, that came to Menachem Abel, to me and my family, should never experience the loss of a child. I now understand the pain of Yaakov Avinu concerning the loss of Yosef. And I will never understand the sickness of Brown Akal. With these words, I can begin my hesitation. My dear loved being a Jew from a very young age. We belong to a large, very, very modern shul that sponsored NCSY conventions regularly. At five years old, the dear came to her first convention and never turned back. She loved being a part of club. I have no doubt that Kira would a big part of her life, it already was. Aura, Shalom Torah Centers, a conservative shul in Brick, trips to Russia, they were already an important part of her life. Me, the Baal Tshuva, I have no patience with Baal Tshuva, they're not completely serious. My daughter, the FFB, saw potential in everyone. And this, I will tell you, is something we often argue about. Adira was a very honest person, and she stuck to her principles. The shidduch was made for her with a rather successful fellow with his own business. Things were going along well, and Adira cut it off. And she would not tell me the reason she cut it off. When the next shidduch was proposed, I insisted she tell me the problem. And finally, she told me, that he was not totally ethical in his business practices. After high school graduation, her best friends had made a birthday party for one of her friends, which happened to be her best friend, which fell in nine days, and Adir refused to go, knowing this would be the end of their friendship. I wish I could read you some of the many, many letters that we received from her friends. She stayed in touch with everyone. You can just look at the comments in last week's Mishpacha magazine. At 11 years old, 
When I went to my own personal matzav, Adira took over as a mother to my other children. I know that she would have been a tremendous mother. In first grade, she told us she wanted to be a teacher, and that makshav never changed. She became a machneset in the seminary of Yisrael, and her students came to us when we were sitting shiva there to tell us how much she had changed their lives. My Aiden told me the same thing, how much she affected him. He called her his personal mashkiach, and this started from when they first got married. I cannot describe my daughter's love for Yiddishkeit, whether it was Shabbos, Yom Tov, Chastam Zonkorum. Just a few weeks ago, when I took out my box of Hanukkah chaskets, my youngest one began to cry when she saw all the decorations in the box that Deir had made. I can tell you she had Simchas Achayim, and she truly loved all Jews. We are so grateful that our family got to spend a Shabbos with her in our apartment in Korea State for this past summer. When our refrigerator broke down in our Shabbos, she wouldn't even allow my wife to help in the kitchen. She didn't allow my wife to even put a fork on the table. She wanted to show us the beautiful Yiddish home she had made. And all this knockers was taken away from us by one wrong decision, not even by a doctor. My daughter, was the victim of socialized medicine. I realize, of course, that this was the will of a Kodesh Baruch Hu, but it is still very hard for me to accept. My daughter spoke often about the Ula and the Kamal of Mashiach. I actually have many of her speeches on tape. Rabbi Kalman, I no longer wish to be called just an ultra-Orthodox Jew. I now want to be called an ultra-Orthodox Messianic Jew. For years, I have listened to the Mashiach Shlitas shri over and over again about the Ola and Mashiach, and I really thought I understood them. But now, I know that I was just giving a lip service. The Mashiach was here, I tell him, I have. I really now understand. Can you imagine my feelings when I pray for Mashiach and Mechei Nesim? Look at us. Look at my family. We are parents who lost a child, siblings without their sister, a husband without his wife, and a baby who will never feel her mother. I desperately need your help. We don't have Mashiach and the base of the group of Sinas Finland. Many of our homes are the breeding grounds for this terrible veto. When I first came to Lakewood and I saw so many large, beautiful families, it was hard for me to understand why some function so beautifully and others were miserable failures. I quickly observed that the difference was Shalom Weiss. I have heard that there are many high school girls in Lakewood that do not want to go home after school because of the constant fighting going on in their houses. How many divorces have you heard about in our community? And yes, we in Lakewood, we are the best in club, or at least amongst the best in club. Why is this? How do we as spouses talk to each other? Children see and know all. They learn from everything that we do. Giving your family everything is not the answer. Proper discipline shows a child that you love them. If you truly want to ask for Mechila, look across your Shabbos table. Make a cashman on that of how you treat and talk to each other. Parent to parent, child to parent, and child to child. It is all part of our problem. Get help if you need it. It is readily available. This is a large part of what we must do to bring a shield. It is what my daughter's materials taught me. Together, we must end this mutz that we all live in. Imagine what a wonder world we could have. It is so close. If we really want it, it is within our reach. Let us work together to end this kingdom and bring a shield so I can once again greet my daughter. Why are you asking me to? 